Hello, I'm Pastor Larry Cobb of the Redeeming Light Ministries. I'd like to talk to you about faith and prayer. Jesus said to his disciples, when you pray for something, believe that you have already received it, then it will be yours. We know without faith, it is impossible to please God. Jesus also said unto them, they should always pray and never give up. So we see that faith and prayer can never be separated. If you expect to get the things you are asking God for, you must pray and believe. We know that God hears our prayers. Second Chronicles 7 and 14 says, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, pray, search for me, and turn from their evil ways, then I will hear their prayer from heaven, forgive their sin, and heal their land. This is a promise from God. He will not only heal your land, he will heal your body, and whatever else he has promised you in his word. But he must see your faith, and hear your prayers. Jesus heals in response to faith. Jesus healed the Canaanite woman's daughter in response to faith. In Mark 2, four men came to him carrying a paralyzed man. Since they could not bring him to Jesus because of the crowd, they made an opening in the roof over the place where Jesus was. Then they lowered the cot on which the paralyzed man was lying. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the man, Friend, your sins are forgiven. The man got up immediately, picked up his cart, and walked away. He saw their faith. 1 John 5 and 14 and 15 says, We are confident that God listens to us if we ask for anything that has his approval. In other words, anything he has promised us in his word, we know that he listened to our request. So we know that we already have what we ask him for. God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Had he said it, and shall he not do it? Or had he spoken, and shall he not make it good? In 2 Kings 20, Hezekiah prayed. God heard his prayer, and saw his faith, and he healed him, and added 15 years to his life. In Joshua 10, Joshua prayed to the Lord. The sun and the moon stood still, in the midst of heaven, and did not go down about a whole day, because he believed. In Acts 2, on the day of Pentecost, the people in the upper room prayed, and the Holy Spirit came and set upon each of them. They believed, prior ushering in the Holy Ghost. If you pray and believe, God will hear you and give you what you ask him for. If thou can believe, all things are possible to him that believe.